Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review. Tonight we're going to take a look at the Friday the 13th, Part 2. Oh, that just came out of nowhere. Jason figure. Okay, so yes, we are going to take a look at this bad boy. Alright, so this is Part 2. And I'd have to say, okay, Part 2 is definitely... The first time we really have Jason as the actual killer because the first Friday the 13th movie was actually, in fact, his mother, Judith, doing all the killings. So, um, he just kind of showed up towards the end of, you know, at the end of the movie. But, yeah, in the second one, boom, we got Jason actually doing the damn thing. And, uh, he hadn't quite donned the hockey mask yet. I don't even think that was until, like, maybe part three or part four. Uh, anyways, we're going to get this bad boy out of the package and get a better look at him because I think he comes with some pretty cool looking accessories. <clears throat> it's always cool getting different versions of Jason too. Okay, so one of the things is this big old poker, which I think is supposed to basically be like, um... What was it? Uh, this is the one he stabbed, yeah. The the two people in the bed that were fucking stabbed him right through with it. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what that was. I almost confused it with the one where, I think it was like maybe part four, where he, Jason lives, where they uh, dug him up to see who, you know, just because they want to see his body and then they ripped off part of that gate and stabbed him and he got shocked with the lightning and pretty much resurrected him so here's an unmasked version with the really deformed crazy ass looking head which is actually really cool and I'm almost tempted to use this as my head because that's actually a really cool unmasked before he gets totally burnt and killed and all kinds of shit so that's pretty cool and then we have his mother's severed head which sit in a little shrine that he had. Really creepy. <laughs> um, hopefully I'm not spoiling the movie for anyone who may have never seen it. <laughs> but yeah, I advise you to... And, and, and <laughs> I'll be honest with you. These Friday movies, Friday the 13th movies, they're not <laughs> all that great of movies. They're really not. Uh, if you're watching it, it's just because you're liking the nostalgia of it. But they're just... <laughs> They're really crappy movies, in my opinion. Uh, they're starting to get better as they go, but... Oh, the early ones, they were just horrible. The plots, the acting. Uh, so here we got Pitchfork. I hate to knock it, man, because, I mean, it is definitely an iconic pop culture film, but... It just wasn't that great. Here's one of his first machetes all bloodied up oh I love that bloody stuff man so cool so worried about breaking stuff trying to get it out of here oh, come on sweet ass pickaxe that's also got blood on it cool let me get this really cool flame which wouldn't you know it is attached with rubber bands. This is probably attached with rubber bands. Nope, cool. This is the fire pit in which the fire will somehow. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty cool, man. Loving the campfire. Alright, let's clip this bastard out of here now. Looks like he's only held in by one rubber band. It's kind of exciting. <laughs> okay. He's free. He's free. Better get another Jason to do some comparisons with. Okay. So, yeah, he's in his 
coveralls. He's got the freaking the burlap sack, guess, or whatever, just cut out, I don't know, pillowcase for a mask. Uh, because he did have some weird wonky eyes and stuff, which seemed to later on change for whatever reason. Because uh, you often see, you know, Jason looking out of his mask, and you can see both eyes, like, even, so, I don't know. That, that just might be, uh, you know, the producers and, you know, them guys just not kind of keeping up with makeup and stuff and they're paying attention to the details. Uh, I think I'm going to like the dude with the axe, the pickaxe. Because, yeah. This dude is serious on some shit right here. I wonder if I can get two hands on that. I think if I really tried, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to get two hands on it. But we don't get double jointed elbows, so that's going to be hard. Nah, ain't gonna work right. Hmm. What to do, what to do. I just, I like the pickaxe. I really do. I like that. This is weapon of choice for his first real killing spree. I wish I can get him like holding the severed head or something then that would be pretty cool uh, but I mean he wasn't happy about the severed head thing <laughs> so anywho all right well here is our Jason Voorhees from the second movie and uh, yeah I mean it's cool it is cool. Definitely, it's going to be a cool one to add to the shelf. I mean, but it's just not what we're used to when we're thinking of Jason. I mean, when we're thinking of Jason, you know, this is what we're used to here. Or even worse than this. Like, <laughs> you know, he's looked even creepier than this. So, but this is basically, you know, with the hockey mask. Um, yeah. Either way, I think they're all awesome. I can do with more and more Jasons. And I do have more. I've got a couple more of them to review. So uh, stay tuned to those. And uh, also, if you are watching these videos, whether you're subscribed or not or new to the channel, uh, go ahead and check out my playlist. Uh, my playlist definitely need more activity because there's a lot of playlists and there's a lot of different things that you might like. Because uh, I review so much stuff. I mean, you got NECA Horror, Pop Culture, you got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Marvel Legends, DC Multiverse, both Mattel and McFarland. You got Transformers, Star Wars, Blacks, Dragon Balls. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So, uh, yeah, definitely go ahead and check out those playlists, man. You'll find something that you're sure you're going to like. Um, anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button. Go ahead and leave a comment, and definitely, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You'll catch all my videos, and uh, boom, I'm Master Marvel 8, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.